this last tool of the construct tool set called loft is also I would say equally interesting and equally valuable um, along the lines of the revolve tool that we covered in the last video so the way the loft tool works is uh, you take flat objects I'm going to take for example some circles I'm going to put a circle here in the middle of the grid and I'm and for the demonstration I'm actually going to um, I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees so that you can see this forming I think maybe a little bit better this way so I'm going to bring it up, up above the plane here and once I have one I can copy it and paste it I just did a in my case I'm on a Macintosh I just hit Apple C Apple V and created another one and I'll do another Apple V and I'll bring that one out as well so I brought three circles of the same size up and you can see how they relate to each other in 3d space here I'm going to take the middle circle and I'm going to actually scale it so that it's about 1.5 times as big it's about one and a half times as big and so now I have these three uh, circles in space and what we're going to do is using the loft tool I'm going to join these circles to make a new shape so for example if I take the first shape actually if I just go up here to loft I click on the first shape and then the second shape you'll see that what's created in between is this loft from one shape to another and if I go back again to the loft tool I click on here and here now we have what almost looks like a barrel I suppose okay. and if I move that away for a second that's that's one way to use the loft tool the second way to use the loft tool is to create a shape that's more rounded so depending on your application depending on what you need it for you may choose to do these a little differently in this second method what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on one shape I'm going to hold my shift key down, click on the second shape, and then the third shape sequentially. I'm doing it in that order, one, two, and three. And then I come up and hit loft. And what you'll notice is now this shape is a little bit different. It's the same three circles, but now the edges are, are rounded. So depending on the type of object that you're creating, loft can help you in two different ways. And just to review, on the first one, I selected loft, clicked on one disk and then the second and created that first part of that first shape and then go up to loft again click on this one and I clicked on this one and created that second part to create the rounded shape I selected one held my shift key down two and three in that order and then in the end select loft okay that is lofting